Hey everyone, so it's time to start hunting down the cultists of Cosmos. So I'm going to be taking on a couple now to be able to upgrade the spear. So essentially upgrading the spear gives you huge, huge benefits. You just get a massive power boost. And the way that you do that is by picking up fragments and you get the artifacts by killing cultists. Now some of them are undiscovered, like this one from the Eyes of Cosmos clan. Uh, so I can't get this guy, but I can get Sotera, who I've got highlighted at the top. And I can also look to unveil this one, which is in the silver vein. So this is the Chimera. So I should be able to pick out at least two of those. And you can see the ones that are in kind of like the lighter color are the ones that you can access. The ones that are not, they're still sort of undiscovered and you need to find more clues about them. But this one I could unveil by pressing and holding X, which I will be doing to, uh, to pick up as many as I can. But in this video, I'm going to be picking up at least two of them to upgrade the spear. And the two I'm doing is Sotera and the Chimera. And the first one is here in Megaris. Now the clue tells you that she's in kind of a warehouse. However, what she's actually in is the port of Nisea. And uh, that's kind of like a big fortress, which I've already cracked previously, um, but it has refilled up. So it's got loads and loads of guards in here. So, uh, so yeah, let's try and find her. I think she's just down there. She's only a hundred meters away. Let's take out a few of the guards that I can get in close to have a look at what it is she's doing. So I've got quite a lot of um, assassination power now. So I should just be able to like walk up to any of them and finish them off. It's well worth working on your ability points to be able to do that, guys. It, uh, it just means that you can kind of walk into a place like this, creep up to them and finish them off with one hit. Like I'm going to do with the dude down here. So we've got kind of more of a captain down there on the ground. This one's going to be relatively easy to do. Yeah. As soon as I can get it to trigger. There we go. Oh, it almost didn't let me. You've got to be like facing it by the look of things. It wouldn't let me turn into them. Anyways, it's done. Disaster averted. So it looks like she's down by the waterfront a little bit. There's not that many guards around here. We've got the captain down there in the bushes. So I figure I should be able to like creep over the uh, the top to be able to at least get a better sight of her to see what she's doing. This dude, yeah. I like I could take him out, but I figure he's fine there. Just ignore him. Let's get over the top and see if I can uh, see where she's located. So yeah, she's down she's down on the docks. To get on across. Okay, where are the guards? Doesn't look like there's many of them in all fairness. I think there's one walking over there. So I figure I can creep down and sneak behind him. It's just walking over there behind the tree. Oh, there's also a dude right behind me. Where did he sneak up from? Okay, just gonna hide it out in the grass. And then ideally either sneak up on her or, uh, or I'll just have to create some kind of bloodbath to make you through. Either way, it's gonna be fine. Oh, they're gonna light the torch though. If they light the torch, they're going to uh, get loads of people coming here. Which will make it slightly more difficult to get to her. Oh, that dude's going. He's not. He's not coming to fight me. He is lighting the brazier. This is. Uh, it's going to make it a bit more difficult. But hey, maybe more interesting. This guy is taking a lot to cut down. The blades. It's all about the blades, though. Whoa, we've got four of them now. It's probably best just to duck and run. Five. All coming after me. They haven't really gotten a hit yet, but uh, I figure if I draw them out a little bit over here, that should give me a good opportunity to get in close to uh, Sotera. He's just hanging out by the waterfront. So I'm just gonna drag as many of them over in this direction. 
hope for the best. Okay, come and get me guys, that is fine. So just gonna wait it out for them to come and get me. She's only 89 meters away. It looks like there's a hell of a lot of guards to deal with. Get rid of the mercenary, the bounty hunter uh, level. So that's not a problem. So now it's just a case of waiting it out just a little bit. This dude looks like he's gonna come on down. I may have to do a runner. Yeah, been seen. So I'm gonna get out into the water around here get myself some some more space and then I'm gonna circle on back and I think that should have dragged most of them away from where Sotera is so I can get in close enough to uh, to assassinate her or at least the fighter without like just 10 or 15 of them being all around me so bit of a swim 168 meters to go I will catch you when I get a little bit closer. She's a little bit of a way away. Okay, she's up ahead. Just by this boat. You can see they're all going wild still. They're not all kind of pulled all over the place, but they're not just sort of hanging around her, which is what I wanted to avoid. And ideally, I think you could probably do this quicker if you just come straight to the waterfront and then get to this boat. Because it looks like she's kind of in a good position from this location. Just don't want to like pop my head up and her to see me. Nobody else is massively close. Okay, we're doing this. Gonna climb up here. Oh, <laughs> took my time too much on that. Ah, oh, set me on fire. Luckily, nobody's uh, nobody's noticed that. And she's doing some kind of weird pacing thing over here. There's not that many guards close to her, so I don't know if I can get close enough by getting to the end of here. And uh, no, it doesn't look like I'm close enough to do an assassination straight away. There's no point just shooting her with arrows. That will won't take off enough power. Definitely need to do some upgrades of my uh, my hunter capabilities. If I could one hit arrow, take her out, that would be perfect. Okay, so we've got a guard here and she's walking back towards me. She's stopped being crazy, at least. I don't know if this guard's just gonna stay there, but she is walking into a perfect place for an assassination. Nice! That is her dealt with. So I've just got this guy. Couldn't confirm the kill. But I will be able to once I've got rid of him. Is he gone? I think he's gone. That was a thunder kick. Spartan kick of fury. She is definitely dead and that's one of the artifacts that I need to be able to upgrade my spear. Nice! So now I'm just going to get into the distance. So yeah, that is one, another artifact in the bag. So two or three. Okay, so the next of the uh, the targets turns out to be on uh, Andros, which is where the spear upgrade point is, which is really convenient. So I should just be able to head on up to her, take her out of the equation. This is the, Chima the Chimera. This is one of my favorite islands as well. It's really cool. Like I really, the, the way the waves move and the color of the beach just looks amazing. So there's Andros, in case you don't know. It's just across the way from Athens, but you should have gotten here uh, when you first upgrade the spear the first time. Which is just at the cave there. You can see the kind of the triangle. The triangles is where the cave is, just up there. So I'll be heading there in a little bit. Just need to take her out. So this is the Chimera. She's level 14. And she gives you some level 14 uh, shin guards, shin pads. <laughs> Let's go take her down. OK, 
Okay, just coming on down, get the uh, get Icarus on the go. Spy this place out. Okay, so she's down there. New location, how many guards? One, two. Any more, any more, any more. Just two. Oh, we got a chest. Nice. Okay, I think it's just two. Can only see two at the moment. She's not heavily guarded, so I should be able to uh, get in and pick this one up really easily. So let's sneak on down and around. Not too far to go. I'm thinking I'll circle around the back of the camp up up on that tent and see what damage I can do from there. Look, she's just down there waiting for death. What are they doing? There we go. She's right there. She's lying down. <laughs> Lady, you've got a whole world of hurt coming your way. Insta death. Just sneak on over, don't look up here, there's nothing to see. Wow, straight away, here we go. <laughs> two for two. Okay, there we go. Draw that dude out if he's coming. You coming, fella? Oh, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Going back, <laughs> now's our chance. Sweet, insta death. Okay, let's confirm this kill. You definitely, definitely gone after that. That <laughs> looked really body shuddering. And there we go, we got some new boots. New boots, these boots are made for kick in people really hard in the guts with the spot and kick spot and kick of fury okay so I'm just gonna finish off this camp all the objectives and then I need to head back to the uh, the artifact cave to go to the uh, the upgrade points so I'm here and the caves just up here and it says the location to upgrade the spear is here but I suspect you get to it by going through the main cave entrance so I'm going to head off to that now. Never seen anything like it before. Here we go. You have seen something like it. We've been here before. Did you forget that whole thing with Demas? She's a bit vapid. I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the kind of the helmet I've got at the moment, but it is my most powerful helmet. Here we go. Let's get the sh get the spear upgraded. Drop it on in, Kay. Drop it on in. Press the buttons. Forge activated. Synchronization. Forge activated. Synchronization. Retransmission. Chronicity. Contact engaged. Spear me. <laughs> nice. New engraving unlocked. Quest complete. Upgrade the spear. Huge, huge chunk of XP. Needed that. It's taking me up to level 14. Very good. Plus an ability point. That's the other huge benefit of upgrading your spear, by the way. You get an extra ability point each time that you do it. So you get the spear upgraded and you get an ability point. So it's really, uh, really well worth doing. So let's, uh, let's check out what that leaves me with. So I should have... Another one. Oh, there's another one at level 14, so I'll upgrade the spear. More gold XP, so that should be another 4,000. So I just need to find two more. And so you just cycle, rinse, repeat that same process until you've uh, until you've kind of exhausted the realms of upgrading your spear. There's like six levels. I think I'm a level two now. So if I took out another two, that would take me up to level three. And you can see the ones that are kind of in the shinier, whiter ring. 
they're the ones that I can just identify and go straight after. But you can see that one's a level 18, so gonna be a little bit more challenging to kill. Um, but hey, all good fun. That's it, spear upgraded. Hopefully it helps you guys out. And if it does, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side. Hit that bell button to get notifications for all of our videos as they come out. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time. Cheers guys, goodbye.